bottle of penicillin. So this is your medicine to make you feel better. Lexi has been hit with penicillin. scarlet fever. Her mom spent most of the day searching for pharmacies which had the medicine in stock. I got told by the GP and also by the pharmacy that it, we might struggle, wasn't offered any alternatives. Um, so I phoned around a few uh, pharmacies um, once I got it and was luckily was a, the third one I called uh, had it in stock. It's just frustrating. It, it, they should, it, with this going on, there needs to be more available. At Lexi's school, there's been an outbreak of the contagious infection, which is caused by the bacteria that can lead to invasive group A strep. One child here has been diagnosed with it, whilst attendance has dropped to record lows. The trust, which runs five primary schools, have brought in COVID-19 type measures, whilst they wait for public health advice and guidance. It's certainly worrying when you know, we are looking at having outbreaks in three of our schools, um, that actually there could be an answer to that, um, to, to, to stop the spread and to, to help those pupils, um, but actually it might not be available. And at the school gates, parents were keen to share their concerns. All the shortage, shortages at the moment, it's scary. It's like, you know, about bringing your children in or do you not? Or it's, it's, it's worrying. Hearing that the farmers is saying that they're short, that, that is very concerning. But the Prime Minister today with reassurances about the supply of drugs and the continuing spread of strep A. There are no current shortages of drugs available to treat this and there are well-established procedures in place to ensure that that remains uh, the case. But chemists up and down the country told Sky News they are running short. If there is decent supply of, of stock, um, pharmacies are not getting them. Um, every time they go online to order from their wholesaler, um, a red line comes up saying it's out of stock. Scarlet fever isn't uncommon for this time of year, but the level at which children are being infected is. For those eventually needing antibiotics, there is unease. But pharmaceutical companies say there isn't a manufacturing issue, making it hard to pinpoint where the problem lies. Inzaman Rashid, Sky News in Crewe.